The statue has never been set up in honour of a critic. Well, maybe the odd one, but uh, it's a story. In a closer walk, Catherine Marshall writes, One morning last week, he gave me an assignment for one day. I was to go on a fast from criticism. I was not to criticise anybody about anything. For the first half of the day, I simply felt a void, almost as if I had been wiped out as a person. This was especially true at lunch. I listened to others and kept silent. In our talkative family, no one seemed to notice. They amused, I noticed that my comments were not missed. The federal government, the judicial system and the institutional church could not apparently get along fine without my penetrating observations. But still, I didn't see what this fast on criticism was accomplishing until mid-afternoon. Mm. That afternoon, a specific positive vision for his life was dropped into my mind, with God's unmistakable hallmark on it. Joy, ideas began to flow in a way I have not experienced in years. Now, it was apparent what the Lord wanted me to see. My critical nature had not corrected a single one of the multitudinous things I found fault with. What it had done was to stifle my own creativity. In Romans... 14.13, it says, Let us not therefore judge one another. 